All right, Shalom Akim, Kahalal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha Kodash, Double Honesty Apostles, and others of Great Millstone of Ruel, and peace and salutation to the Akim around the world that pushes through to the four corners of the earth. You know, I say I'll do a short video here. Um, I entitled Labor Not for the Meat That Perish It. Because you know, ready and truly in this system, you know, you had to work. You know, most I'll grace you with a job. You know, a certain incomes, the ability to do certain things because you had to make ends meet. You understand? Scripture said that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord. You know, just paraphrasing. So in this life, you had to work. But you also had to remember, you had two jobs as a man of the Lord. It's not just about working and making money in this system because we can see the system crumbling. We also have to make sure you build up them spiritual pennies also. Right, it's say, um, lean not up for yourselves. Say, I'm still like you. This is Matthew 6, verse 19. It say, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Right? It say, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. You understand? So he's showing you where he's supposed to be ready, trying to be rich, not being rich in this system, but building up them spiritual pennies, you know, doing the work of the Lord to build up them pennies for on the other side. We're ready and truly. You had to have faith to really believe that because if you dedicate so much of your time to build up treasures that you can't even see requires faith. And that way I see so much men who just claim to be of Israel, just be focusing so much on earthly riches because they don't have that faith to really believe that they'll receive what it is the scriptures say that they'll receive. Right? I read it over, I'm going to say, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. It say, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So if a man focusing more on the things of this world, other than the things of the most high, then that will be classed as idolatry. You understand? And we know idolatry is a big reason why... <laughs> A very big reason why we in the position we in today. Right? Idolatry don't, don't have to mean just behind idol gods. You know? Idolatry don't have to mean behind other gods. It could be you could idolize a person, you could idolize objects, you could idolize money. It have people of other nations who actually pray to money. All of that is idolatry. Well, not for them, but if we follow it, that is idolatry. Because they have their gods. If that is their god, well, I don't do this well. Um, I read this John 6. I'll read... Um, I read from 21, right? John 6, 21. It say, Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land whither they went. The day following, right, next day, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there, save that one wherein two his disciples were entered, and that Yahushai went not with his disciples into the boat, but, had, but that his disciples were gone away alone, howbeit there came other boats from Tiberias nigh unto the place where they did eat bread. After that, the Lord had given thanks. Right? It said, when the people therefore saw that Yahweh Shai was not there, so you know, after the first time when they get the bread, the bread and fish, you know, men belly was full, you know, Jake says, Jake's so go and storm your house, 
just to fill the belly sometimes. Not to see how you're going, check up on you, or even to help you out, you know, but just to just to fill the stomach. That's how Jake says. Spirit does bear witness. They say, how be it? Yeah, it's, um, verse 24. It say, when the people therefore saw that Yahweh Shai was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping, took shipping, and came to Capernaum seeking for Yahweh Shai. So men went looking for him on ships. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when, when camest thou hither? Like, hey, Rabbi, where was? You know? Like, they're so excited to see him. <laughs> Yahushai answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me, not because ye saw the miracles, but because he did eat the loaves and were filled. I really entry that all those studying food. And you go you go bounce up them kind of thing. You have people who where they don't want to learn. It have people who has actually come and act like Hebrews just for benefits. And really and truly they they they're not about the most high or his son. You understand? They they even they mightn't even believe that they is that they's Hebrew. They just act in the role because you know. It, it beneficial to them. It says, labor not for the meat which perish it. Right? And this is really the point. They really the point in the video. It says, labor not for the meat which perish it. Now we know with, with the scriptures, everything is about balance. The internet don't work to eat. But don't put so much work into physical bread. And you don't want to put you know, you don't want to build up them spiritual pennies. You understand? You have to have balance with it. It's true, you go have to do the physical work, but make sure you do the spiritual one also. So labor not for the meat which perishes, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. You say, which the Son of Man shall give you, shall give unto you, Salakia, for him had power the father sealed so ready and truly just tell to labor because he have he was given the authority to give you these things he have that he have that power you understand you say he had made he had been made heir of all things he inherit he inherit that, that privilege and you tell it to the way you say to labor for the meat that perish it not I'm gonna read it over I say labor not for the meat which perish it but for that meat which endure it unto everlasting life. You understand? You'll see many parables about uh, the, you know, the, the, the um, talents and the workers in the field. And it are many different parables to break down the same thing for you in different ways. But you also, have to, you also have to make sure that you're building up them spiritual pennies. You understand? Especially in times like this, supposed to be pushing the wood. Because time's coming close. And just now you wouldn't be pushing the wood anymore. Because just now we'll be on lockdown. As soon as the spirit gives the signal, farming of the wood. No more no more working in the fields. You understand? Egypt will be how you scripture say um Egypt Egypt wouldn't have no work. <laughs> and really and truly wouldn't have no work. For them and for us. Because when the farming of the wood start, it now we're not gonna be teaching out there anymore. You understand? So you always, we also always have them trying to make sure that have a little balance. Now, it's not everything is about Esau work and Esau work. And then when it comes to your spiritual work, you know, it's always a problem. You always have to have a balance. Right? I hope you're satisfying with that. I'd like to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Racha Kodash, double honesty apostles, and others of great millstone and rule well. And peace and salutation to the Akim around the world that pushes truth to the four corners of the earth. This is your Abba from Eternal Camp saying Shalom. Akim, stay strong.